What's up, everybody? It's Dave here from Enter the Battlefield New Market. How you doing? Doing good? Doing good? I'm doing good. Anyways, uh, we're here uh, to do a little bit more Canadian Highlander, a little bit of low-key Canadian Highlander action. We got just the personal decks that we like to play. Uh, we got Wes back with elves. We got Frank back with birds. Uh, Rick is going to bring something new and spicy, and I got something new and spicy as well. So uh, we're going to have a good time. Uh, we usually play Canadian Highlander on the last Wednesday or second last Wednesday of every month because uh, this one we have Canadian Highlander Invitational uh, happening Saturday, November 25th, 3:30, 81 Davis Drive, New Market. Oh my God! Uh, and uh, yeah, it's happening this Saturday and. Anyone in the GTA is welcome to come, but anyone not in the GTA. If you're watching from Australia, come to Newmarket, play Canadian Highlander. I know you got your own version of Highlander over there. I would like to play that too, but it's fun. Anyways, uh, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna toss it over to Frank and Wes. Uh, Frank is on Mode Call J, and Wes is on Elves Call Wes. Whoop, whoop. Hello. Are we live? We're live. Hello! Hello. I am Frank. Oh, hi. This is I'm, Mo Call J. This is West Call Elf. I mean, Elf Call West. Either way. Same thing. Elf call, elf call Elf. Yeah, honestly, either yeah. way. And uh, I, I win the die roll. I'm going first. Frank did win the die roll. Uh, my name's Wes. Uh, Alright, we're going to go. I'm going to start with a Flagstones of Trocare. Wow, we're going fast today. And I'm going to play an Avon Skirmisher. It's a one mana, one one flyer. Pass. I'm gonna draw for transfer. It's also a bird. Fancy hand cam right now on screen live, I believe so. Um, also, everyone's messing up my deck name. It's called Elf Chain Biosite. It has been here before. Elves Call Wes. It's phenomenal, and I love it. Biorhythm Bio Call Wes. Shock in a overgrown, tap it for finally a one drop elf that taps for green. Findhorn Elves. Neat. We're gonna pass the turn after that elf. Untap, draw. Oh. I will play a land. That's pretty cool. I dude. will hit you for one. I will take one. Yeah, it's all good. I'll pass. Alright, one tab up, keep draw. If I can pick the card. That's pretty cool, guys. That's very cool, guys. Very, 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 very cool. Very cool. Super cool. Uh, we're going to put this Taiga down. Definitely real Taiga. Um, and we're going to tap a black, a green, and a green for a Tybar Jubilant Brawler. Ooh. It's pretty cool, pretty pretty amazing, pretty awesome planeswalker, one of my favorites. Um, I am going to use the lovely ability, although he might die to do that, which is kind of sad. Probably will die. You're right, he probably will die. So instead, we're going to plus one him, Ooh. untapping this fin horn, to tap this fin horn, to cast a heritage to do it. Okay, and so pass. on cast. Oh, cast a trigger. I'm going to uh, destroy this and you investigate. Creature or planeswalker? Yep. Wow. Creature or planeswalker, so you have a clue. You want to do it on activation or? Doesn't matter either way. Okay, so we're just going to let it happen. Cool. Well, like, it's it's play, open game state, you have to do something, and then I can respond. Oh, uh, so. Would you mind telling the card? Uh, oh, sorry, it's Fateful Absence. Uh, destroy target creature or planeswalker, its controller investigates. It is an instant. It is an instant. Yes. Right there, boom. Can you see it on the can cam? On the can cam? On the can cam? Is it exile or destroy? Uh, destroy. And what do I get somewhere? A clue. Oh, I need a clue. Well, I have one. Uh, I a clue. I've got a clue. Uh, pass to you, sir. Wow. And? Oh, yeah. One. Yeah. Whoop. Pass. You have three white men out there. It's kind of strange. What does the flagstone do? If you uh, destroy it, I get a plants. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah, um, when it enter is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, I may search my library for a planes put onto the battlefield tapped. That's super secret strip mine tech. Right. Yep. Oh yeah, go ahead and strip mine me. Uh, we're just gonna tap out here for at least two green for a beast whisper. Ah. So two three remember cast switch draw, I get to draw a card. Cool. Pretty fun, pretty cool. Uh, in response to myself, I'm gonna hit you for one as well. Think. The first damage of Christmas. Actually, you I'm can't casting. attack me in response to casting a spell. I know. I'm joking. Come on. Can you move the yeah. combat. Oh, what that? <laughs> I'll play a land. And then I'll tap four. Flashy, flashy. 
There's spaz in this thing. Um, so I'm gonna put this uh, second from the top of your library. Second from the top? Yeah. Cool. Then I'll hit you for Doesn't one. Doesn't matter if I have it like revealed because we know it's there or... Um, you might shuffle, who knows. You're right. Let's be safe. So it's... No, did you put two on top of it? Put target, not like... Just beneath the top two cards. Yes, so you got it. I did you the one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, now I will pass. Okay. Frank, Scott, Frank Scott West on a 15 turn clock. 15 turn clock with my Avon Skirmisher. I'm gonna drop this Let's go, there. baby. Comment down below who you think is going to win. And don't watch to the end of the video and then comment because we'll know. I'll know. Green and a red for an Elvish Warmaster. Whenever one of our elves is on the battlefield, I get to make an Elf Warrior token. And then we're going to tap. Oh. You know what? We're going to tap. One, two, three. How do you tap this? Because this ability supersedes space. Oh. So I make three green mana. We're going to okay. cast Door of the War card kicked once. So it has a plus one plus one counter on it. I'm going to forget about that clue. Um, so all my other elves get plus one plus one equal to his counters. Uh, and then because I uh, enter the battlefield, I have a 1-1 one, one elf warrior token that's technically a 2-2. Two -two. I'm in danger. I'm in a lot of danger here. This is danger. Danger Will Robinson danger. To the danger zone. We're not gonna get copyright strike by Danger Zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, <never laughs> I don't know who actually did the. <laughs> Are you done after that? At, uh, we'll give me yes. Alrighty. One green. Wait, eat a minute. Second mate first. I'm a liar. You didn't even go to combat. You're still on first mate first. I know. Birds. Ah. Nice. A bop. I too have a bird. He has a blocker. <laughs> what this? Probably some good removal. Interesting. Hounds. Um, this one card could be, could be at all. Attack me. Attack me. For one. Do I block it? Yes. Do I lose my bird? Lose the bird. Do it. Do it. It's not. Five open man? Yes. So white have ways to on the creatures against this people. I don't have ways to untag. Yeah, I just gotta make so it a 15 15. I, was, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm the green player, boy. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is scary. Chat, quick, vote now. Do I block him with the bird? <laughs> no, I'll take one. Okay. Your move. On top of keep drop. I don't like what you're doing. Either he is completely bluffing and he just has land. Or getting, uh, uh, uh. I'm just getting destroyed. Clue! Oh, Dave's the best. We got a clue. It's pay two, sack it, and draw. Yeah. Pay two, sack, draw. That is very cool. Oh, is it? Neat. Um, so we're going to pay two to cast a heart board, which will trigger Elvish Warmaster, giving me another elf. Warrior. Tap for a green two psychic draw card. So it's a clue. <laughs> it is also a clue on an elf. Uh, um, and I've got one, two, three plus potentially there. Um, actually, I'm gonna do this because I want to use one that can swing and one that can't. So. That's the one that just entered. And cool. The, the front is the one that can swing. Um, I'm good. going to tap Druid, the one that just came in. And honestly, the Warden, because it can get past haste. Yep. Uh, to make three green men. Cool. And I'm going to tap over that, four. And I'm going to cast um, Elven Course. I can look at the top card of my library type. I may cast creature spells on the top of my library, and creatures I control have tap. I have one man of any color. Cool. It's cool. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna look at the top card. It's that guy. <laughs> the Beast Whisperer. Who that boy? <laughs> Who that boy? Who him is? You do. Oh, someone knows the song. Um. Well, you know what? We're gonna tap. Um, yeah, we're gonna tap. Um, Two, three, 
and the War Master for four. I know I'm really leaving myself open here, but I have one low blocker, or I'm sorry, my name is a 2 2, uh, to cast East West Raw off the top. Cool. Whenever I cast a creature spell, I get to draw a card. We're going to look at the top. Is he an elf? He's an elf. I already did the. It's, it's once, once per, per turn. turn uh, if it wasn't, this guy would be like. Mm -hmm. I thought elves were good until this point, oh, but it's go. once per turn. Terrible here archetype. Here we go. Terrible. Uh, and then I'm gonna swing a two-two at you. Okay, great. I'm gonna pay five. Yep. I'm gonna flash in a solitude, exile this. You're gonna gain two life, and I'm gonna block and gain three life myself. But it does that. No, it doesn't. It's a two-two. Oh right. I'm gonna exile this, and then I'll block and I'll gain three life. Are you sure about that? You've already made your decision. No, I, I choose this. I, sure? forgot I, it was a I forgot it was a tutu. I forgot it was a tutu, sir. So Exiled, you gain two life. Loudfield, you exile up to one other target creature. Yes. And mm -hmm. you gain life equal to its power. So I gain two. And then I block and I gain three. That's super good. Yeah. Done. I guess so. <laughs> I, I guess. Draw. Oh baby, look at this. Land. <laughs> Two. I'm gonna play Tomic. Distinguished Ad Advocist. Uh, he's a flying 2-3. Lands on the battlefield and land cards in the graveyards can't be the targets of spells or abilities my opponent control, and my opponents can't play lands from their graveyard. That's fine. And also play one for a battlefield raptor. It's a 1-2 flying first strike. Mm, one, one. A 3-2. I take the one. Uh, yeah, I'll take three. Four. Pass. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. We're top decking, folks. We both top decking? No, you got you got an uh, extra hand off of your great land, you get the draw we'll cards. Draw for turn. I'll play this blue to delta and land for turn. Ha! And look at the top card. Uh, we're gonna tap. No! This tiger. Yeah, Wes, it's not really top decking if you can play. If you can play the top card of your deck. <laughs> <laughs> Elvish Myth Stick! I draw a card and I make an elf. He's back. This one, I can tap this one. I, can. I swear, birds are gonna. Birds are gonna uh, win at some point. Maybe not today. We're gonna tap this Heart Warden. Cast this Elves of Deep Shadow. Gonna draw a card. Cool, then we'll look at the top card. Um, I can't play it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> um, so that's a 2-3 two, two, and a 1-2. Two. With first strike. Oh, I'm gonna crack this, actually. Okay. And we'll get a island or swamp. Island or swamp. Bum, 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 bum. You know what counts? Tiger. Tropical island? Volcanic island? Perhaps the tropical. Ketria Trion? I could not. It's not Zagoth Trion? Uh, tropical island. There's steam vents? <laughs> the venting of steam. Steam vents is a card. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's what counts as an island. Uh, that is true. It's the shock, right? Yeah. The is it one? Is it? It is. <laughs> Never made that joke before. Oh, you know what just happened? I shuffled. I'm gonna look at the top. Land. What is the short chat? So that's what I'm looking at. Unfortunately, I still can't cast it off the top, but it's a really fun card that maybe we'll see. Her. Pardon? What? Could you hear me drinking water? No, keep playing. What happened? What? Keep going. I can't. It, I can only cast creatures. I know. Okay. Oh, this man's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to say something, Dave? He forgot <laughs> about the clue. I was gonna rewatch that. Well, actually, I could have done it with the heartworm too. But yes, I will stop the clue and draw a card. Oh. And then we're gonna look at the top card of your library. Yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't play that too. Dang it! It's one of the names of this just deck. Said something. Just said something. 
what? Oh, that's right! Yeah, but I don't- Okay, then if I do that, though, I don't have the mana enough thing to do. Wait, how are you gonna untap the thing? To... Yeah, I don't have enough to do that, so... How we gotta you, wait. How would you untap it? Hmm? Hmm. You don't have to- You can just pay two and sack it. Oh, just two and sack. Oh, I thought yeah. it was- It's better than a clue. Yeah. It's the oh. elf that does it all. But, you know what we might do? One plus. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be stuck. What? No, it's cast. It doesn't cast. It. That's okay. We're gonna do it anyways. Okay. One bird and fin horn. Two. Um. Wait, I think this is the best. Or I don't know. Why is he asking me? Also, it's... this is my hand cam. <laughs> Is it Concordant Crossroads for five? No. Three, okay, yeah, we're gonna, so two mana, blue, green. Um, we're gonna Neoform this warrior token. Into a one drop? Uh, into a two drop. Two drop. Mana cost? Plus one. Oh, it is a one drop. You could do this into a two drop. Or, or, or the find horn or the oh, bird. Yeah, you get a three drop, actually. We'll get rid of the heart, heart warden. You get a five drop. I could, but there's not. Three drops. There's like sixes and other ones, but it's not, uh... Right? This crater hoof is... Eight? I get the guess. Okay, I don't think crater's on the deck now, but that's fine. I have a plan. We sack the Heart Warden. Uh, additional cost tag is cre- uh, this- Additional cost to play, you sack three creatures, search your life for a creature card with CMC cost equal to one plus it. Has Goodbye, biorhythm. It also get- I know. Good biorhythm! What's one counter on it. <laughs> get it! And it's a two okay. drop. Good biorhythm. No, no, three drop, because it's a two drop. Oh. Wes, you could have definitely could have just sacrificed the heart warden, put biorhythm in your hand, then neo rhythm. Then neo form? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I would have to sack another creature. This. True, and I don't want to do that. I know. Because his second ability is super fun. Wait, he has a second ability? My opponent is withholding information from me. Uh, Judge. This stream is brought to you by Mouth Dreams. If you've ever had dreams that come out of your mouth, well, they sound like mouth dreams. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get a Halvish Harbinger to the field. So it's a plus one, plus one, and when it enters play, I get to tutor an elf to the top of my library. What'd you say about a plus one, plus one? Yes, it also gets plus one. Why? Neoform. Oh, Neoform. Okay. Um, I just gotta do 11 damage. Right now, I got four. It's not impossible. You know how many anthems are in this deck? The real one. Is what? Priest. Yeah, there's some, there's some good stuff. I think I might. I could maybe kill Wes. Oh no, I could maybe do 10 damage. Wes, there would be an elf with flying that you don't know about. Flying elf. Green blue. It's a green. Yep. Oh, well, not, hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I could have gotten that before. That probably would have been. Ah, uh, no, we have got this. What's happening here? I'm getting the oh, priest this. off of the elvish. Right on top here. of your library? On top. So okay. shuffle, put it on top. Gotta make him shuffle, folks. He has staff of domination in his hand. Maybe. You don't know. If I do, that would be good. But... Well, next turn. Next oh, turn. no, you can play it. You can still play the priest. I can still play the priest. Shoot. Uh, it doesn't have haste to jump. That's fine. I need a board clear, folks. Came in. There's a couple in here. This came in, but Heritage I can tap for one mana, so that's two mana because they're overgrown. Priest, cast a spell, draw. Oh, uh, before I do that, quickly, I tap the mana, it's floating. I'm going to look at the top of my library. My opponent keeps taking things back. That's a good card. Uh, we are going to cast it, we're going to draw this card. I'm going to look at this card. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, wait. Can I swing? Good. I have my two three. I got a one two and a two three. We do have a two three, so they go bounced. This is a counter on it. Swing your elvish mystic. I could swing this little guy. 
He would die. He would die. So he was still a guy. He would die. All right. So this deck is notorious for only drawing lands. Oh. 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 Well, I'm going to settle the record. Pay two for a strict proctor. Hey, so it's a flying, and whenever a permanent entering the battlefield and causes a triggered ability that counter it, unless it's, it's controller pays two. Well, that's kind of rude. So you have to pay two for every draw off of this now. Yep. Oh, and no, it's cast, not draw. Oh, or enter. That's a. Uh, oh yeah. Enter. Yeah. You have it's the two to do that. Down. That's a little worse. Um, it's still useful because it's slowing my extra health generation. I think I will pass. <laughs> I'll pass. Tap. Where do I attack? Hold on, no, I, I, yeah, I, I pass. Should... No, because you can. I'm at 25. Sure, yeah. Sure, uh, okay. Sure. So tap what was tapped. You've got sorry. Good blocks. Sorry. Tap what was tapped. Yeah. I think I'm gonna swing. Okay. What do you wanna do? That's what's up. That's tap. That's what was tapped. So two three a two two one 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 two three and two one ones. And I can't block lives. Yeah. I'm just gonna hit you for four. In the air. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I don't like it, but I like it. Pass. This is risky. It is super risky. I can maybe risky gain risky. three life, though. We're going to hunt out if we draw for turn. That's a really cool card. So we're going to put a guy's cradle on the field. No! <laughs> you already have one. I know. Kind of. And then I'm going to look at the top card. Don't need it. Sad. But hey, we're here now. Um, I don't have an additional land play, but I do have this. So what I'm going to do is we're going to tap three. For an Azuri Renegade Thinker. No! Which has a really fun ability. You're gonna pay the two? Also, draw your card on cast first. I will pay the two. Also, yeah, draw a card on cast first. Thank you. And then you're paying the two for your elf? Yep, so I make a one that can't swing. Right there. Bah. Help! Um. Help! Guys, Help me! Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Mm -hmm. This taps for Third. one less than that. Twelve. Twelve. Else is else to for so thirteen and twelve is fifth, twenty-five. So that's five. I gained five three. Five instances. I gained three though. You will. <laughs> you will. <laughs> five instances of what? Plus three. Plus three. Yeah, I'm trying. To. So uh, each one is. Okay, I lose. Yeah, we'll do that. Black. What's my Black. next card, folks? <laughs> oh, good. My next card was a plains. The, uh, the elf Katamari rolls on. Uh, the classic fun combo. It wasn't even infinite. Just this a lot of this deck will win someday. I was honestly super scared for the amount of removal you have, like Exile and White, so I still think it has a very, very solid. He took an opening hand oh. with four lands in it, and then uh, he kept drawing, drawing lands. Yeah, I did I three a, lands in a row, and I'm like, I had a feeling that was happening. Also, Force of Virtue, bottom card of the deck. Would have been nice. True. Flash creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Is there a good... Should I be running Dave in Cam Canadian Highlander? Is it good to run protection spells? Since that is a thing that my board state does like to keep. Even though it's supposed to be just fast filling it up. Um, like stuff like... Um, what's the... the like well, Heroic Intervention is the one, right? Yeah, I think it's in here. But I also uh, think, like, should I run maybe like um, Rootborn Defenses? Like the two or three drops that also do the same idea? Maybe... I, I, pick. I wouldn't run... Anything except for like the best ones. The best of those. Um, heroic intervention is the best it's one the best because one it have, it so. um, protects you and it protects uh, your creatures. Think, yeah. But because it's hard to get my brain off of like commander, right? When you mm, think of all yeah. This really the solid. the thing about heroic uh, intervention is it could be just another card that kills your opponent, right? I guess you're right. If if mm. you're, but at the same time, and it's it like could also I, just be in your hand. Yeah. Uh, like early game. Like it's not doing anything on turn one or turn no. two or turn three. Yeah. Right? True, uh, true. Realistically, that card is only valuable if you have a board and then, and then you're you're not killing your opponent. That turn. Which I mean I do notice quite a bit. So, no. Like enough where it's like I wanna keep my board up as much as possible. Mm. And then, you know, like for I'm just thinking of ways to like combat my biggest weakness. Well, three. one way would not to spew. To hold back and wait. To hold, like so you, you don't have to play every elf. True. 
like you got a point, and I try to do that. That's why like, I could have played a lot more earlier, but I wanted to yeah. get the Beast Whisperer. The Beast Whisperer is good. Yeah. But like, um, yeah, I don't know. There's a there's a bunch of different ways you okay. can play. Yeah, I'm just thinking of like, ways to do that. Uh, I will also. Nice. Uh, this do one's, you want to go first? I will be going first. This one's for you, Jay. Snow-covered land, uh, uh, plains, into a healer's hawk. hawk. Pass. Flying <laughs> I did it. No Optimal turn one. <laughs> I'm going to put a burden out. So I'm going to pay a life. I'm oh, I'm winning already. And I'm going to go get a bayou. And then? The uh, I do not have a one drop, so you're good after that. An elf hand with no I one know, drop. I know where we're Oh, oh boy. So it begins again. I'm going to play a Muta Vault. And then I'll tap this for a Kite Cell Cleric. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one flyer. And hit ya! Boom, bam! Woo! We did it, Jay! And then I'll pass once you're ready. One sec, sorry. I'm double checking my land. Okay, I do have that. So I'm gonna actually on. You know what? We're not gonna get a Bayou. We're instead gonna get the Saltite Trial that I forget the name. I have to read uh, something, but I can't let Wes see me. Where is the Trial? have three triumphs. Where is the triumph, guys? We're playing that game. Okay, there's a trailer. Good for good work. I want a mana. No, there it is. They got triumph. That's what I'll get on the first one. Neat. Uh, ooh. Ooh. He almost bent a totally real taiga in half. Actually, it was the it was Zeotor's Proving Ground, which was a real is a real oh. only a, I think I've only got six proxies now, and I'm starting to slowly work my way down. This deck has only one Black Lotus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's also That's the only points for it. Uh, Mo Miss Moat pointed. I don't think so. I don't think Moat's pointed, but I don't think there's any. Other I points. think the points for that deck is out of, uh, are out of whack right, now. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, oh, it's a uh, no. It's a uh, it's it's one Mox and um, a Black Lotus. I think that's the only points. Is that can oh, you have both? Hey, that's amazing. Can you have both in a deck? Dave? Uh, yeah. Then, uh, yeah. Shock the stomp. Why am I at 18? Because I... Oh, you, you hit me. Okay. But, um, if that's the case, I don't think the mox is real either. The mox is not real. You're correct. We're going to... Uh, green and the black. Mm-hmm. And demonic tutor. Oh, no. We're tutoring. I know. I'm trying to go... Tutors! Tutors! <laughs> Computers. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. No, it's fine. It's cool, man. Mm. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I just feel bad don't, for don't. the viewers at home. Viewers at home are fine. Aren't you viewers? You know, Christmas is coming up. And after the battlefield, there's a lot of stuff you can buy. That's true. We are a shop. We are a store. Not just a really cool online presence. Yeah. We are also, in fact, merchable. I'm just going to show the chat this really cool card that I'm getting. What was it? Dave. What is it? It's a really cool card. What is it? It's a neat little card. It's a nifty little card. And then what happens? Uh, and then that's it. High five. I'll untap them. Kill him quick, Frank. Draw. Whoosh. He's probably going to. He's got two birds. That's not a bird. He's got two flyers. <laughs> two flyers. I'm going to play a snow-covered uh, planes. And then I will pay three. To play a Maul of the Skyclaves, I'm going to attach it to my Healer's Hawk with its ability. And uh, it gives it 2-2 two, two flying and first strike. And then I'll dome you for 4 and I'll gain 3. Ouch! <laughs> and pass. Alright. Run tap. <laughs> so quick, my turns. I'll keep and draw. We're going to play this Bayou. We're going to tap 3. And I think we're going to just throw out... Trash. Listen, I'm the trash man. Maybe we do that, maybe we don't. I'll grab on. Cool. Two, three. I mean, look at the top card on my lever. I can play lands on top. If I have three different creatures with three different powers, I can play creatures. Cool. Ah. Um, look at this beautiful card. One of the best cards in Magic. So good. Been around since Alpha. Right? Yeah. Mox Emerald. Maybe. Uh, I know your points. Pass. <laughs> do you, Frank? Because one of them doesn't have points anymore. Oh. Oh yeah, Carpetation's not pointed anymore. Oh! That's fun. I'm going to... I'm out of coffee, chat. Phase three. 
I'm gonna play Redan. I love Redan. All the Coldheim gods are cool. So, Flying Vigilance, his Snowlands enter tapped, and then also uh, a any non-creature spells you cast with converted mana cost four or greater cost two more. That's really spicy. You're gonna you tell me that my biorhythm that costs only cost ten. nine or whatever or eight cost ten, ten now. Uh, I will dome you for four. Yeah, thank you. That's getting out of hand. I think I might win a game, guys. Draw but he's just gonna combo off here. Gonna put this. Oh, oh actually, first. his staff of domination costs six. <laughs> Ooh! Is staff of domination a four drop or a five drop? Uh, three? Yeah, three. Oh, that's sad. It doesn't get taxed. I'm up city. Uh, we're gonna crack this wind sweat. Yes. We'll get a lure. Sure. Not a snow base, I'll tell you that much. No, is it not? This has to equip four, boy. Did I miss a land drop? You might have missed one. I did miss my land drop. I forgot to. Can I just play a land? <laughs> did you have a land? Yeah. But Dave, you can so verify sure. this has been in my hands and start, right? Verify it is in your hand. Uh, it's up to you, Wes. I will allow it. We're having fun. It's not a competitive game. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you don't have a way to discard it. You have to pay a life for mana, which I always appreciate. Yeah. Not that it matters, because you got a 1-1 one, one with lifelink. And it's I have 7 It's life. a 3-3 three, three with lifelink. Thank you. Well, that's why I'm getting hit for so much. Yeah. Hot dog. Come on, guys. We're going to talk about That's kind of fun, actually. Um, that's kind of funny. Should I do that? Is that two mana? That is two mana! Oh no. We're gonna have to pay two. I'm gonna taint it back. It's gonna exile the top of your library. You may put that card into your hand unless it has the same name as another card exiled. Repeat the process until you put a card into your hand that you or you exile to the same name. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna exile this card. I'm gonna put it to my hand. It's called Manipulate Fate. First flavor for three cards, move from the game, then shuffle your library, draw a card. Interesting. We're gonna cast it immediately because this is a blue. Okay. So I'm gonna get. I am scared. Three cards that we're gonna get. Where are the cards? Somewhere in this pond. I don't know why I'm saying that. Coffee's finally hitting me. He's in a musical mood. Which is funny because I'm not a big. Oh, guy. yeah. These stupid things. I forgot there was a food chain. <laughs> In Elf Chain Biosite. Elf Chain Biosite. I've got the site. I've, I've got, got the juice. I've got the corn. He has got the, the juice. Knobs. He has the juice. I don't really know what else to get rid of at this point. So we get rid of... It's corn. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get rid of a land, guys. This is crazy. I know. I know. It's the snow-covered land because I would make Actually, it enter honestly, tests. I should do that. <laughs> Thank you for the option. Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. You know, it don't help. I'll be the next there. It's like third down. What is hey, look, what is food chain uh, cost? Mana. How much mana? How much mana does food chain? It's three is, it a, is it a three drop? Yes. Redan does nothing. <laughs> this man does no nothing. That's a lady. I'll have you know. Really cool lady angel. She does nothing! <laughs> <laughs> or, you know what? It's an angel. Who knows these days? She got booba. That's true. So, it is not rude to assume. And then what happens? Because if you swing me, I'll take the damage. A 2 3, and then I'm completely free to get crack back from. Oh, it's flyers. It's fine, right? I draw a card! Wow! Well, that's kind of fun. Qu'est-ce que c'est? So, um, just so everybody knows, you got rid of Squee. Squee the Immortal and Eternal Scourge, both cards I can cast from Exile, because they go with a combo with good old Food Chain. Food Chain. Uh, and then we're going to... PS. You know what? Oh. Yeah, everything on this is fine. Yeah. I'll hit you for two. Okay. I'll take it. I think I'm dead. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I was actually joking about you swinging me. 
I mean, I can't block anything. They all have fun. Yeah, but you, you could have blocked the mutavolts <laughs> that it, I need you, to kill you. Did you just swing with these? It's three. the four, five, six. What? Seven, eight. <laughs> You dead. I am dead. All right. I made a bad play. I did have the I was game. kidding. I feel bad. I, I... Oh, never mind. I drew Fairy Guide Mother, so even if you didn't swing, you were dead. Because yeah, I can I thought... give 2-1. Okay, cool. I, no, I figured... I, I just wanted this was like one off. That's why I thought it was seven. Yeah, this so has been math. four the whole time. Yeah, five, six. six. I yeah. it as a three. Six. But yeah, this would have just uh, killed you. That's good. I, I won a game! I did have the food chain combo. I so. did it! And a Genesis Yes. So, last. Yes. Yes. Um, one line. Sure. Um, so you could have um, played Food Chain instead of Augur Bottom. Next turn, Tainted Pact, and then just went until you got like a Mox or whatever and exiled Squee and um, I was thinking Eternal about Scourge doing, yeah. on the way and just killed him. Yeah, I would have like died. you, you were close. You were real Wait, close. Really? I don't think I could have had the mana to cast it though, because at that point, I had already used the two. If you do, you have Mox. Yeah, I have Mox. In so if you have Food Chain, um, oh, which is instead three, of casting or instead, instead of doing of, the Tainted Pact, and you do the Tainted Pact. Well, I don't, and you just go until you get Mox. Oh, because yeah, three mana, I get the Mox, and I can cast the Food Chain. Yeah, but then I have a way to. No, oh, food, chain's already, food Chain's already out. It was instead of Augur, you could have played Food Chain. Instead of Augur, you play Food Chain. Oh, I, I, I had to do afterwards. Why? No, no, you, you would Demonic Tutor for the uh, for the Food Chain. Yeah. And then you Tainted Pact until you exile one of those two, and you then there was and a get a Mox. Why did I do it that way? The land. The Windswept, maybe? There was a reason why I got lucky with the Dane Pact. I forget what it was. Did you tutor? What did you tutor? So, with the Demonic Tutor, I got the food chain. Right. And then I drew Dane Pact? Because it was on the. Yeah. You could have just, like, if you have, uh, I guess, yeah. Like, you didn't know you were going to get the. I didn't have a guarantee, that's why I did the. Because I saw Manipulate Fate, and I was like, oh, okay, that works, I can draw, maybe I'll draw the land. I don't know. With, with the Dane Pact, you don't get the But it doesn't go to the field, it goes to your hand. No, but the you could exile. You could exile. Bunch oh, I did have the auger at the time that I cast the team fight. No, that doesn't matter. You can just you go you exile cards until you hit one that you want, right? Yeah. They don't go back to your. Deck. They don't go. They, they stay, stay exiled. Yeah. So, so you, eternal scourge and squeeze would stay, stay exiled. And then the next turn you just play food chain. Anymore. But I think I was dead the next turn. I think it was that was that last turn. I just did all that. So I wouldn't have had. I wouldn't have. Had a, I needed an extra turn anyways. That you. Yeah, could, you would have had to play the food chain first. I needed it, but then I wouldn't have the auger to sacrifice to cast them. There was a reason I did that. I, I, I was thinking that. Well, no, if, that you, was, if you had played the food, you didn't have the tainted pack. But yeah, if you had played the food chain and drawn the tainted pack, you didn't know you were getting the tainted pack. I was because there was something going. There was something hypothetical in there. situations. Yeah, I think there was something. There was a reason I did it. I, I think I could have missed it, like you said, because if I, it was the case, then hell yeah, I should. I figured I was dead, but like we got close. Like that's why I was, I was biding my time. But yeah, well, I think uh, I think we just ride or die with the trade. Yeah, just yeah. put it out. Because I had the Genesis Hydra in my hand, so... Did you put anything good for Genesis Hydra? <laughs> what? Did you put anything good for Genesis Hydra in there? I anything out there, but I, I have a ginormous Genesis Hydra. Yeah, but the last time we did that, it did nothing. True. Oh, no, sorry. And then I get, like, Azuri or something off the top. Because I just look at the top of my entire library, right? right. I get Azuri, and then I can... Oh, no, that gives... You'd have nothing on board. It gives... You get your elf. Your, your new elf. Right, you get the one that goes infinite with... Um, the new Miguel Gladrum Brigade, which has the whole you pay two each time you cast it for each time. Like you cast it for the three mana, and then you can pay two multiple times to get a copy of it. So I have infinite cast trigger mana with, with Food Chain. Okay. I make infinite of these 1 1 guys. And then you still die to my birds? I, thought, well, I mean, yeah, but it would have given I thought me a you. Chance. I thought we had talked about putting Perforos in there. Oh, yeah, I could have done that. That'd be kind of fun. Because you can just, once you Genesis Hydra, you get the Perforos, Perforos. and then you continue the, the exile cast. And kill everyone. Yeah, kill everyone. Yeah, yeah. that is it. Oh, I have a uh, the I did the dinosaur. I have the dino in here. That's who I saw off the top the one time. Then I did who it says whenever you cast a thing from exile or whatever from nothing. Oh, okay. One of, one of one of the oh doctor, the new guy. Yeah, the yeah, doctor yeah. Doctor yeah. Doctor doctor cards. Gotcha. Cards. So there what? Yeah, there are cards in here that I would. Okay. Done. If I knew where it's like okay, he's got flyers. I need something to help with that, and I can infinitely cast them. Yeah. I would have done that. And burn me to death. Yeah. Cool. All right, first or second? Game three. It's going to be fun. You uh, first? I'll take the play. You don't want to draw? 
Nah, I think I'd like to try and go fast. Oh, keep this hand. What do you think, Dave? Okay, look, I'm look at the... This is a really funny hand. This seems good. Seems like a good hand. Dear God. Clip this clip this turn one and send it to Jay. I, I <laughs> should clip this turn one and send it to Jay. If only this was uh Healer's Hawk, you know? Healer's flock. Oh uh, no, that one, this is better. I'm gonna keep this hand. Yeah? Uh, when you're ready. I'm ready. Alright, we're gonna put a Delta crack it. I'm gonna go get a by on the field and use the bite to cast this out. Cool. I will draw a card. I will play a Caracas and a Black Lotus. I will sack the Black Lotus for a, a Vryn Wingmare. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. And uh, Caracas will play this Rustwing Falcon. That's really gross. That's three damage turn two. Yeah. <laughs> and then I passed. I kind of hate the way that you said that, Wes. Whoa. It's like three damage turn two after a black lotus. <laughs> after a black lotus. Yeah. Yeah. The black lotus <laughs> is what caused that. Uh, arid. Masala. Muzzle. Um, Tiki masala. Um, we're gonna crack this. Oh, I dare you. I know how to lose life. Oh, you're busy. I'm doing it. I'm gonna get a green red. Oh, wait, this does kind of mess up the rest of my hand, doesn't it? Oh, now his, buy now his food chain costs four. Which means if I play Redain, it costs six. <laughs> I don't know if those, do they technically stack? It's do they cast. stack? I don't think so, but then again... Does wrong. it cost one more to cast? Uh, probably if, not. It's a different overlay. It doesn't actually see I can the face hope. value of the card. That's what I'm wondering. I can uh, Dream Herald. I'm going to tap... To and put this heart wound into play as well. Well, and then I'll pass. Perfect. Appreciation. Not blocking. Okay. You good? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Oh, what kill one of your guys? Oh, I know this one. Yeah, yeah. Three? Three. Alright, I think that's the last time I'm killing myself. Pass. What? Last time what? And, uh, oh, God. I'm hurting myself. <laughs> Draw for turn. Uh, hurting yourself. Oh, let's go. Actually, you know what we are going to do? How does that work? Yeah, it does. Uh, one green, two. Nissa Resurgent Animist. Landfall, whatever land on the battlefield. You have the name of the color. Okay, if it's bounce time, it back to your hand. Uh, in response, not a cast or went Once it on the field. Yeah. Okay. Ah, damn it. So I'm going to play this land. And I'll bounce it back to your hand. For, yep. It's so, so triggers on the stack. I'm going to put her back in your hand. Bounce the back to my hand. I'm going to use the green that I cast to make it really shrewd. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's fine, actually. Thank you. Uh, I needed that back to my hand. <laughs> no, you didn't. This is nothing. Um, yeah. Uh, pass. Want to dome me for one? Oh, you are tapped. Yeah, I will do that. Right. Almost. Untap. Three. Draw. Up our planes, and do I want to play this? Or do I want to? On to combat. Three. Three. And then, yeah, I'll just play the swooping lookout. One, two, flying vigilance. Pass. Ooh. On tap. Sorry, I'm just doing calcs. Yes. <laughs> I'm scared. He's doing math. For two. You're not allowed to do math. We're gonna get... Math is for blockers. This beautiful lady. One, two, three. Why are you... I'm ready. Should <laughs> I blow up the land? I'll do it. Don't tempt me. Computers. <laughs> Cool. Uh, then I'm 
I'm gonna play a land for turn. Bird Catacombs, generating a man. In response to that trigger, I'm gonna crack this. Wait. You lied to me. You did hurt yourself. And now I'm gonna go get another uh, Swamp or Forest card to the field. Probably a Forest card. It's not fair. Which is gonna get me that off the top. He's you. getting around Caracas. <laughs> it's a bandit commander for a reason. I can also see why this is very strong. Yeah, this is very strong. It's good. Was it right the turn? <laughs> that would have been a card. That would have been real fun. What card is that? You're shuffling away anyway, show me. Yeah, no worries. Tell me! Too bad. Too Tell bad. me! One day you might oh, let me just, be editing let me just, this video. Let me just open up the chat. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, we'll get the Trial Island. Tryland. Which then, after I shuffle, and this is going to resolve this turn, I get to, and I'm still floating in green. Uh, and now you have a second green. Or another card. Cards from the top of your library until you reveal an elf or elemental. But that, do you want to chop it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not letting you cheat. You don't cheat. I'm it's terrible cheats. at shuffling anyway. He's a cheater. So you have two mana. What colors are they? Three mana. Two. Plus one. Plus oh, one. Oh, actually, right. Two floating. So what color is the second one? Uh, black. Okay. So green and black. Floating. And it's red. Then we reveal until we hit an elf. And so up here. Put that into your hands. Sure. Alright. Land of War. And then the rest of the land of War. Whoop. And then this gets returned to your hands. Yes. Play on. Um, next, I have four mana. Four mana. He's just gonna play the Nissa again. He's gonna play the Land of War Elf. Yep, and yep. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do anything. And I'm going to. Response. Oh! He gets plus two, plus two! Mine. Because I have three lands in my graveyard. Oh man. Which is pretty fun. And then we're going to tap three. And then we're going to cast a Realm Walker. Anything else? Why? Name birds. <laughs> really? Really? Uh, that's a one two? Yeah. And vigilance? Yeah. Cool. Here's a three four. Alright, took it. And we're going to top card library, second main phase. That's super cool. And I will pass to you, sir. There's one card in my hand. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yes. Draw. You know, when you bounce this to my hand, it actually helps me get double triggers. That's true. I will swing for four. As vigilance. So, yeah. I'm on, on the heels now. And I'll pass there. You gotta pull out something now, guys. Really pull out the stops. Draw for turn. Gonna look at the top card of my library. That's not what I needed. Play a land for Oh, I should have. That's yeah, fine. Generate a mana. Hmm. The top. We're going to do this in the mana generated to tap. I'm going to sack this land. I'm going to search for a land card, put it on the battlefield. You sacked your triumph? Yep. Jeez. I guess in response I can, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. In response to, to this code? activation, I flash in an Avon Mind Sensor. Sorry. It's okay. That would have been nice to know. Yeah, I'm sorry. You just look at the top four. I kept that for a reason. And then what happens? Uh, you get. You're just you're looking at those four instead of tutoring. I shuffle them. You still get one. Um, it's not, so I whip. You should put it back. So I just, do I put it back the way it is, or do I shuffle now? If an opponent would search no. a library, shuffle, that player right? searches the top card, four cards of the library instead. Oh, uh, man. That sucks. I lost really cool cards. Sorry. I was like, I could... I thought you were going to try and use correct. No, yeah, that's... There's a reason I left my mana open. 
and I forgot. Mm. I'm an idiot! But, well, I lost the land for that. But I still have some mana. It's tied. I don't think so. Huh? I don't think it has. I don't think Birds has ever won on stream. Oh, I can cast that. But he does have seven. Uh, he does have seven mana to deal with right now. Eight mana to, to use. Nine mana to use right now. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Sure. Do three. Four, five. Do three mana. Four mana. Five, five mana. Six, seven, eight mana. See? I knew something was happening. So, one plus eight. There's a door to work on off the top. Oh god, has eight counters? Two, four, six. No, four counters. Okay. So, all my elves get plus four, plus four. Five, five. And this guy gets. Plus two, plus two for lands. Yep. Seven, eight, 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 eight. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm one damage off killing you. Um, what is Krakus say again? Return target legendary creature to its owner's hand. Okay, good. This one in particular says. Fai tonare in mano Double checking that it was the legendary creature, that's all. Yeah. I think I have to pass. Okay. Untap. If I get a land, I win. If I don't, West might live. Well. Unless it's a bump I think I played this a little off. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Yeah. That was <laughs> For fun. I don't want to talk about my other response to this. That's fine. I'm just gonna enter combat. Yep. Swing out for six. Swing out for six. Responses to this, which I can't block. No. Oh, yes. No, I have something on main two. Okay, so I'm down to one. Okay. In phase two? In phase two, I will pay three. And I'm going to exile this, and you can get a basic tapped. Just a two mana path. Cost three, because all non creature spells cost one more. Oh, your own thing does. That's super rude, man. What the heckles? I'm just gonna do really well. It's a dead man. Can I go get a what now? A basic land tapped. Which then gives you a mana. <laughs> Technically, yes. And then I'll pass... Hold on. Oh, oh! Even Mind Sensor! I'm sorry! Put this back! You have to look at the top uh, four cards! Hold on. <laughs> Stupid oh, Hey, thank you that combo! Hey, thank you, Even. Is there a basic land there? No, but there's a land. But not a basic? Yeah, it has to be basic. Hey, this Mind Sensor is doing work today. Board. Board. I want my board. Well, it's your move. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Spazzy's in the chat. Hi, Hi Spazzy. What's up, Spazzy? It says you're rude, Frank. I'm not rude. Thank Listen, you. when has Birds ever <laughs> won a game on stream? Zilcho. I'm, he's at 1, and I'm probably still going to die to elves. So, like, don't be mean. I, I opened up a Black Lotus... And I'm still gonna lose. That's not true. I'm literally at one. I don't think Wellwisher is in this deck. Or Nissa, I don't know. It gains you two life from each other. We just need Azuri. I still need to have five more. That's pretty good. Huh? Oh, I dropped it. This one? Yes. This one's been good. It seems like it's, yeah, doing I, I flashed it in when he sacked a land for this guy. Ah. And then now it. I had a, this. That deck wins with a lot of finding a big cape, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it's good. That was Rick. He'll be on next round. <laughs> <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, 
<laughs> Pass off the top. Priest. No. Over the top. No. No. <laughs> this is the beginning of the end. Staff of Domination. Oh wait, but this is has summoning sickness. Yeah. Oh. I might go on to round three, guys. First time ever. Oh. Oh. And. Wes, think about what's on the board. You did. Yeah, what's in your hand and what you're planning and what's on the board. I know what you're planning. He knows what you're planning. I don't think I have. I don't think I have that elf in the deck. You can't search. Uh, so it might be in the top four. You can still do it. Yeah, the, right there. The that and that demonic tutor. <laughs> Is it that card? No, but I can do it. Anyway. So, we'll cast it. Anyways. I got nothing else to do. Um, Harbinger comes in. Now you have to the top four shuffle. Wait, does he have to. Like, you still get to put the card on top, or is he supposed to put the card on top and then yeah, shuffle? So, so you, the way the card is formatted, shuffle, then put the card on yeah, top. Yeah, okay. I'm glad a land was turned. That's good to know. Hmm. That is good to know. You have six mana. Seven mana. Yeah, you gotta kill me here. Or, yeah. or find a way to survive. Clear my board. Yeah, that's where I was thinking. Four reach creatures. I guess we would do one of the burning rangers so can pass those. Alright, Kyrian Ranger. A new souffle. Man, I've never had a mind sensor work this much. This is great. True. Usually it's gone by now. I know. Usually it's just for this reason. Boom. I unfortunately haven't pulled any of my removal. Hand. That's on top. That's in my hand. A1. Curry. Okay. Not in the top card. Ah! Oh! Show the chat. It's biorhythm. No, but I would have dealt with some stuff. Uh, <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> I just realized if I played this as a land, I could have played this and killed them. <laughs> okay. There might be a weird way to do this. I haven't played a land yet. I haven't played a land yet. I haven't played a land yet. I'm gonna return this bayou to my no, this savannah to my hand. It's a forest. For how? Untap target creature. Oh. Let's return. We're gonna untap land of war. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play this savannah as my land for a turn. Okay. So. I generate a man. Okay. We're going to say one white. Okay. Um, I'm going to tap Kurian, Heritage, and Nissa to generate three green mana. Okay. So I have a white floating. A white and three green, yes. White floating and now three green. I'm going to use one green, or two green to float a green. So I have a green and a white floating to sack card one to draw a card. Okay. I'm going to draw this card. We're going to look at the top card of my library. What is happening? No, birds can't lose. Uh, no, Wes, no. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah. No, the Nissa was just a land. I only got once. Yeah, I haven't got the second land to pop yet. Um, we're gonna use. You have a white I and a green. White. We're gonna use the white. Okay. And we're going to Prismatic Ending the Maven. So that costs uh, one more. I will use the green floating. So what does it do? Exile target, non-land, permanent. 
if it's mana cost, mana value is less than or equal to the number of colors of mana. So this is, this is a three drop. Oh, this is a three drop. Wait, what? You have to spend three mana on that. Dang it. Three colors, which you only have green and white. You got a white floating and a green floating. Oh. So you can get rid of these. Can we say that? No, instead of the white, sorry, we have to do the blue. Yeah. That's up to you, Frank. Are you cool with that? I gave you the one take backsy the last game, the free land. Yeah, I gave you like three take backsies last game. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dave? <laughs> Call, like, four yeah, like you, you had the land and then you That's played something else. Well, yeah, this was on the stack. And you picked up your deck, and I was like, oh, wait. Flashing? Yeah. Mm. Okay, get rid of this thing. Still a three drop. You can get these two with two mana. So you can just pay white, like white and green, and you can get rid of one of these two. That's so frustrating. I guess we get rid of the vigilance one. It's the only thing I saw. He's dead. Walkable. Okay. Oh. Excellent. Yeah, I am dead. I'm trying to get rid of it because I have to tutor for the land. Which would then get you an elf. Yeah, it would. To the hands. I think that's the thing off the top. You try? You try anyways? What? Get rid of tiger, I guess. Tap, sack. Turn to forest, turn to forest, turn to forest. Oh, man. Did you already use this? I only did that once, I'm doing this one now. Oh. Sacking the thing to get tap and sack. And look at the top four? Oh, well, if, if that's the case, then yeah. One, one two, sack. I guess we're gonna let try with the top four. I did. Yeah. I got two. I guess we'll get the catcher. Because it comes to tap anyways, we'll get the catcher down. Okay. Nissa, and then Nissa, what color mana does Nissa create? It would shuffle first, yes, and then you would miss it. I don't know. We'll say blue. Blue. <laughs> she just reveals off the top, it's not searching. So no. That's good, at least. Yeah, so that's fine. <laughs> I'm trying here, folks. He's trying. But if he can't, I'm, I'm going to kill him with this little falcon. Actually, I'm going to hit him with the Haven Mind Sensor. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh. Huh. Almost just through. Right to your hand. But it goes to my hand, not to the field. But you do have three mana. I do have three available mana to me. Right. No, oh, I need to. Oh, you have four mana, actually. Yeah. There's nothing at this point. I will look at the top of my library because I'll mark it. Now you show up. What is it? <laughs> Bio rhythm? No. The thing that goes with this. Oh, um, Staff of Domination. It's sort of one. Yeah. Game. Well, this isn't a haste. I was going to do it. That's why. It's overrides haste. <laughs> right. Arch to it! Plus one, plus one. There's some big elves. I think that's it. I tried. I tried, right. chat. I really did. Oh. Oh. I got another land, so now I can finally play oh. my always watching that I've been trying to play all game. Uh, all my non-token creatures uh, get plus one, plus one in Vigilance, and now this Vigilant, larger Avon Mind Sensor is going to crack you in the face. I needed to get one removal spell. Yeah. That, well, I did, actually, and it would have worked. Because I thought it was, I read this wrong, I thought it was equal, like, it was man, like, if it's one color of the creature. Yeah. Not the other one, like, the mana value. It's, still it's a very good No, it is, it's just, yeah. The thing is, it does get around, like, over here, because even though it costs one, it's still just one color, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, good game, Wes. Uh, I haven't turned the but... I'll uh, be back in round three!
Oh, no. And... <laughs> Woo! Speaking of which, uh, round two will be back in a second. Uh, that was a invigorating round one. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to go on break for about 10 minutes. If you're watching on Twitch, don't uh, take this down. If you're watching on Twitch, you can like and follow and subscribe and comment and uh, hang out. Uh, we like seeing you. We like talking to you. We like we like seeing Spazzy Whack Drop. He's a cool guy. Uh, if you're uh, watching on YouTube, you can do the same things, similar things. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Uh, we post regularly on YouTube. Uh, we stream regularly on Twitch. Uh, we're trying to post every day on YouTube. We're trying to stream every Wednesday and Saturdays and Mondays now, maybe for Lorcana. So, yeah. Uh, we'll be right back. Uh, other than that, have a wonderful day. Be on.